this week we played Conflict of Heroes, Storms of Steel, Kursk 1943 uh, by Academy Games. It's a uh, two to four player uh, World War II based war game. Uh, it should take you between one and three hours once you know what you're doing, depending on which firefight you uh, choose. And uh, special thanks to you, Eichert, the designer, for sending us this copy. You know what I like about this game more than other um, games? Like, it comes with multiple boards for different battles. And, and these boards are thick, but they also lay flat. I mean, you're talking about a lot of little pieces that could slide around on a glossy board. Sure. And I was impressed with the fact that while these things were thick and this box is very heavy, um, they, they lay nice and flat. One thing that I really like about the counter-type uh, war games, and specifically this game, is that uh, you're not gonna deal with all the plastic men. Mm -hmm. So like, I mean, I, I'd say that at the risk of sounding like a jerk, like Memoir 44 is, it's not really a war game in the same sense that this is a war game. It's not as meaty, but it's got a lot of little pieces I think that are more enjoyable for kids and some people really get into the war game when they got mm -hmm. the plastic guys. I think it's pain in the ass. Um, Memoir and Tides of Iron both. Uh, there's so many little guys to have to stand up and move all at once. I'd much rather just have the little little pieces, and they're good quality. One complaint, other than the box being completely messy, um, speaking of that, you should probably get like a divider of some sort of plastic tray. A lot of, yeah. of sites sell those. The pieces themselves, uh, the layout on them, isn't as intuitive as I think it should be. The, the flanking and frontal damage, they should be swapped, I think. The positions in the bottom right corner of the piece. There are a lot of rules to get introduced to, but the good thing about the way that this game is set up is that the rule book, um, there's 15 firefights or you know games within mm. this particular box. 15 or so, is it 15? It's 15, okay. yeah. So as you play the first firefight, you've probably only got five pages of rules or so to read. There are dense five pages, sure. uh, but there's still only five pages. Symbols mean. Yeah. The other thing is, as you've learned more of the rules as you move on, um, you can start incorporating some of the rules that you learn from later pages into earlier firefights if you yeah. choose to. It's it's a war game, you know. The expectation is that you're going to have at least a 25 page rule book. It's, yeah. it's going to be so accessibility is kind of a, a sticky issue, I would say, for really getting into it. It's not one of the lighter war games that are kind of entry level war games. This is a meteor game, but at the same time, it's accessible to the point that you're not going to be playing this game. Uh, hypothetically for four or five hours but a lot of the firefights consist of um, 60 minutes to 120 so I was just looking at the clock I was gonna say the first time we played I mean that first round was like three hours we played that day it was only like an hour and today I think we were under or maybe we were an hour because we sat around and bullshitted right. for too long gameplay wise I think that uh, it's a it's a pretty sweet game I actually yeah. enjoyed it it seems like there's so much to keep track of but really everything is laid out to a point where it's easy to keep track of what you need to right. keep track of and when you think about the units and what they should be able to do as army units right they can do that yeah. and so one it's intuitive because right. you think well i should be able to do this with my guys i should be able to hide in trees and snipe at you guys in the building sure i can do that right um and it shouldn't take me a whole lot of time to figure out what's going on in every exchange and it doesn't so i was really impressed with those aspects of this game i I don't feel like I've lost control. When it's my turn and I do what I want to do, um, and then your turn following up, um, I don't feel like you can destroy me in one move because we're constantly switching Yeah, the back turns. and forth is really great. No. You. What? you pivoted. That's your action. No, dude. A pivot is never an action. You've charged me actions no, for pivots it's the one whole game. Dude, dude, no, I haven't. Yeah, I, I then, guarantee you I haven't. Yes, I you know did. I haven't. A move is an action. A pivot is one AP. This guy turned action. last time, and then you're like, okay, this guy attacks it. No, I never you did, did that. You did that right dude, away. Why so, do you think you, he's dead? You're getting dead? all shitty because you're getting your ass kicked. The thing I was super impressed with is that you've got all these different maps with all this different terrain on it. And mm -hmm. some of the terrain is, is literally like living terrain. Sure. Like there's on this board that we played, there's oh, cornfields yeah, yeah. and there's wheat fields. And depending on what month the firefight takes place in, it means different things for those areas right. of the map. And I really like the fact that it's not a stagnant world. There are loads of those hidden throughout the rule book. You know, mm -hmm. little designer notes where they talk about this is why we did the things we did. Yeah. And when you think about that design wise, the gameplay is just added to. It's just that much better. I'll give you a high five on that. So replayability wise, um, you know, you're playing through given firefights, um, and you are adding your rules to it if you choose to. If you don't, you don't have to, but what's neat is that even though you can play as one team, one side of the battle, you can always switch up with your teammate and play it differently, um, which is kind of neat. And what we learned is that because prior to playing this round, you'd already played the other team, you mm -hmm. kind of already knew what was going on, so right away they get something like, oh shit, he knows what I'm going to do. <laughs> Each firefight has a different objective. 
And I, I think that as long as you're cycling through the different firefights available, you're kind of switching it up every single time. The random chance variables mixed with, you know, intelligent play can really make every round feel different. Right. One thing that's really good about these particular games, and I guess the company in general, Academy Games, they can put out, you know, different firefights for free if they choose mm -hmm. to. Yeah, they can just it's add like, a book. It's a supplement. I mean, you can do it as a book, you can just put them out for free online. You know, there's nothing saying that you have to stick to the historical right. you can make your own. the firefight. <laughs> All said and done, I, I honestly would buy this game, and I really like that it's so in-depth and thought out in mm -hmm. terms of trying to incorporate um, realism. I, there's a story to it. Right. But as you play through, you play through campaigns that were played, regardless of if um, you know yours turn out like they did sure. um, in history. Playing different people with, with different strategies can make even a firefight you played you know, many times seem interesting and new. You've got to have a group of people that you're going to want to war game with and really that are going to want to war game with you. Mm -hmm. It's it's not exactly a pickup game like, say, Pandemic or something that's right. pretty, you know, collaborative, easy to play, so on and so forth. I like the fact that it's not so easily accessible sure. that you can just open it out of the box. So you have to take time to learn it, well, but that it's not overwhelming at all. I think, though, if it were more accessible to that point, I think a lot of the depth that makes this game really cool would be gone. Right, and that's so, why I like how it is. Sure. I like how it's tuned right now. So yeah, I buy it. Cool.